Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. My name is Cami, and welcome to the video. So today we are in a whole new setting. I know you guys are not used to me having a background this pretty and if you're new here I'm so glad you're here please subscribe there's gonna be lots of makeup tutorials coming out of this channel today we're gonna be doing a get ready with me chit chat sort of video there have been so many changes in my life personally I just want to just fill you guys in on things that I've been noticing over the last couple months and what is going on with me currently as far as makeup as far as my channel so I'm gonna be putting on makeup and talk about what has been going on with me so to begin with you guys I am in a different setting than I'm normally in this is family's house I am in one of the bathrooms at my family members house I just borrowed these flowers from the dining room table downstairs and I'm making do with what I got and I think it's actually a really pretty background in this video I'm going to be using a couple of new products there's an eyeshadow palette and also a brow product which I'm very excited about. I haven't used a new brow product in quite some time. This brow product is by Milk Makeup. This is the Kush Fiber Brow Gel and this is the color Cypher which is like a deep brown. Also I'm going to be using the Butter London Teddy Boy Eyeshadow Palette. These colors are like cool tone. I actually have never used a Butter London product before so that is new, so I'm gonna be trying it out. I'm also gonna be bringing back a few of my new favorites. Uh, it's the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray and the Pure Lease BB Cream. All right, so let's start with the Milani Fruit Fetish Make It Last Setting Spray. <clears throat> I just think the Fruit Fetish line is like so perfect for the summer. Um, but of course, it's a setting spray. It'll work like year round. And even though it's a setting spray, um, it's easy to just like use it before you start your makeup. That way from underneath, everything is more prone to stay and stick to the skin instead of like sliding all around, which we really need for these hot months. This bathroom has been occupied by my lighting setup and everything for over two weeks now. I think we've been here for, today's 18, 18 days. I think Sunday was the first. Anyway, I'm having, I'm fine here. This is good. This is a good situation. Like, things are great here. I said I was going to talk and do my brows at the same time, wasn't I? Okay, let's get back to it. So I have a lot of things to talk about. So we're having to do what's called a double move. Um, that's where, like, you move out of your place into a place, and then the place you go to is not yours. It's like someone else's or it's a hotel or you're just there temporarily so we're just here temporarily we don't plan to live with family um, that wasn't the plan the plan is to get our own place so whenever we do that obviously like we'll have to move again so that's a double move and we have a storage unit which we didn't have before so that's new um, it costs a lot of money to put your whole house into storage because you've got to buy like the big box. I think we have like, oop, is it like 10 by 15 I think is the box that we have to fit our one bedroom place. Can you believe that? Like what do people do when they move out of like two and three bedroom places? And four and five bedroom places? Like I guess you just have to get like more than one storage unit if you're doing a double move. So that was like, we kind of thought that might happen um, because we had our place on the market and we were looking for a place at the same time. But we were going to sell our place like no matter where we were with finding our new place. So we didn't find a new place in time. Well, we haven't signed on the dotted line to buy the new place yet. So we moved out of our home, sold it to someone else without having a home. Like, can you imagine that? Like for a lot of people during this time of like quarantine and stuff, like that would be really stressful. But for us, we kind of just like have been thinking about moving for so long 
like in my mind I always knew like a double move was going to be like a high possibility so I'm fine it's just like it was just physically taxing to move out by a certain date because someone bought the property and we actually had to be out by a certain date so once we figured out that they had signed on the dotted line which I'm basically just using as like the coverall for like finishing escrow and all that stuff to buy the place that we were leaving we had to be out by I think it was like the 28th or something like that so we did we packed all of our stuff we found out that we had to be out by the 28th like I think it was like 48 hours before that so we packed all of our stuff in two days the two of us and then we hired movers to take all of our boxes and our furniture to storage it was just the two of us I mean ideally I am still on my brows ideally you know you'd have like your friends come help you your family come help you but with quarantine like none of that is guaranteed I'm trying this new thing where I don't make my brows too dark how are they looking Ooh, they're like so pointy because I realized I was doing it and it was making my eyebrows look blocky and heavy which is appropriate for certain looks but like not for what I want to do like on an everyday basis and I'm thinking this is going to end up being like an everyday look so this is the Maybelline tattoo studio in black brown I'm gonna put the gel on after like the powder and stuff dare I put highlighter on my cheekbones today wait my ring that's what moving does like you don't know where things are sometimes I totally don't have on I didn't have on my jewelry at the beginning of this video let's Let's put it on, shall we? And also, like, I've been using these earrings for everything for the last, like, three weeks. I'm kind of over them. Like, I don't want to wear those anymore. And that's kind of like, I only have the jewelry that I brought with me from my home to use. So at least I have on, at least I have on my ring and some earrings. Am I cute now? Let's do a little bit of eye primer. I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer as primer today. And I could use like an eyelid primer. I have one, but I'm not gonna do that right now. So let's just put a little bit of this on. I don't wanna stress myself out trying to do like a wild look when I don't really have a lot of things to choose from. So here's a little bit of the backstory with moving. We've known we've wanted to move since January of this year. And it's not just like an easy thing where you're just like looking for an apartment and you can find one, you know, within 30 days. It's not really like that when you're trying to buy a property. That's what we wanted to do, buy a property. And so that's something that we don't take lightly and we wanted to make sure that we found a property that we like. We had a realtor who did a really good job at targeting specific people who were qualified for this space who wanted a space like ours. It was a one bedroom. So our home was on the market in March. Right when like lockdown hit, we were like, oh gosh, are people gonna come and look at our property? We don't, we don't even know how this is gonna go. <clears throat> I think we only showed the place to maybe three people. I can't remember if it was just two, it was just two. Two people. Um, and one of them applied and got the place so that's pretty good if you have a realtor like that like get a realtor who has like a lot of experience that would be what I would say so that's what we did and yeah during during lockdown we ended up finding a buyer for our home so that's pretty cool but yeah it took probably through July so March April May June July so after four months of this person doing whatever they needed to do to get the home, they got it. Four months seems like a long time. We wanted to move into a new place since January. So this is the eighth month of the year. So we've been doing this whole process at least eight months. All right, guys, so I'm going in with the Teddy Boy. This is the eyeshadow palette right here. Oh, look at those colors. So I'm gonna first go in with this color right here on the lid. So we got word from them because we're in touch with them. 
which I think is a little like that's not super normal but we happen to know the buyer now and um, she's already started remodeling so that's pretty cool I wonder if I'll ever get to see like what she did with the place I wonder I wonder wow comment down below if you've ever moved and you've ever gone back to where you moved from and the place just looks so different we are really really hoping for this one particular space um, yeah we put a lot of our personal time into it so but ultimately like wherever we end up like I'm sure I'm gonna be fine with it because it'll be my home you know I'll get to like make the house into a home and that's another thing too because like I can finally have a space where I can design like the way it looks so that's pretty cool I have never done like a home decor type of video I've shot like things that I bought like last um, I think Christmas season I showed you guys that I bought like these candles and I went to these types of stores um, I'm gonna use some of those things in the new home of course but I mean to be honest with you we decided to move because we just wanted more space so there's gonna be more space to decorate so I'll have to get like more things for those new spaces that we wanted so that's gonna be super exciting you guys yeah hopefully um, in the next couple of videos that you see I'll have like a new background I'm probably gonna upload a couple of videos with this background because we're gonna be here but hopefully soon sometime in September you'll see videos with the new background this color is called Simon I never told you guys what it was so this is kind of just like a dusty color to like set my lid um, let's go ahead and move on into something to make my crease darker let's do I'm gonna go ahead for Graham right here this is a little bit so a brush they are amazing they're soft I've been using them for years um, I highly highly recommend that brand I'm gonna move on to do the crease with a morphe brush this is the m506 and I just want a really small amount in the corner I'm just doing the classic it's like the look you see on the back of all the eyeshadow palettes in the drugstore it's that same like technique that I'm using so I just want to try out these shadows these shadows are so easy to use and they blend so nicely that looks pretty okay so one thing with moving you guys um, so we're doing good here we're with family like everybody's super um, caring about the situation and there's like no issues or anything so one thing with moving I figured out in order to stay and this also might be one reason I'm not like freaking out that we haven't bought a new place yet is one thing is to stay like balanced and everything what I did when I got here is I got like a routine kind of so for the last couple of weeks um, I've really just been doing kind of the same thing every day and let me tell you like a routine kind of makes a difference like if you're looking for some sort of like something that you can look forward to so that you don't end up thinking too much about things that are out of your control I have learned to try to stick to a routine as much as possible you know I cannot control when you know we find a property that we love I don't know what day that's gonna be I cannot control when escrow closes I don't know what day that's gonna be there's things like that where I have to let other people do their work and just step back and like do my part and once I do my part like if it's sending one email throughout the day or signing one DocuSign throughout the day I have to move on with my day so I literally just like wake up I walk the dog I make a coffee I do something creative usually I'm not even done with doing something creative until like seven o'clock at night or maybe just before seven but that's good because I tire myself out and I can sleep you know even though we haven't bought a property yet you get what I mean I feel like I have to like feather this out a little bit to match the other side these are my types of colors <sighs> like moody slate colors um, think of like I don't know slate gray slate blue I love colors like that I don't know 
they just like make me feel so peaceful and that's exactly what this palette is like look at Rupert this is Rupert here like look at that gray blue green I'm saying I'm not gonna go overboard but who knows what's really gonna happen okay also something that has like helped keep me like <clears throat> positive is before we moved um, we were looking at properties and on a property that we were looking at like in the area in the neighborhood you guys peach my new dog she came up to us and she just like started like chit chatting not chit chatting but you know what i mean like she kind of just like picked us i was like oh my gosh she's so cute <laughs> the sales consultants said that she was there for like a few days like just in the area and they were like giving her water off and on and stuff like that so after like being with them and talking with them and she just like was hanging around us for like a half hour I told my husband I was like I really just don't want to leave her like I just want to you know rescue her I just want to like at least take her for the night see what we can do maybe take her you know take her picture post it online at like some dog sites and see if you know we can help find her owner so we did that and we did get in touch with her previous owner. Can you believe that? It's like, you gotta be like in the dog community and really care about your pet in order to go on the lost and found site that we were on to like find the picture of your pet and things like that. So we found the old owner and we were in communication with them. And after a couple of back and forth emails, very nice ones, very like, you know, just like, details about the dog we made sure that they were the owners and things like that um how's my how are my eyes looking they look fine okay let's move on because i'm like not doing my eyes anymore okay so um yeah we just they asked us to help them find a new home for her and by then i think we'd had her for like three days it was like over the weekend so there's not much you can do over the weekend, you know, business wise, like taking her to businesses or anything like that. Um, but yeah, we ended up being her new owners, you guys. So if you want to see my dog, she's, I don't know, she's somewhere else right now, but if you want to see her, she's super, super cute. I did a video, the one that came up right before this one. Um, I did a video where I did Addison Ray's makeup and my dog made a little cameo in the video. It wasn't supposed to be about my dog, obviously, because I was doing a makeup tutorial, but she ended up coming into the bathroom. So I just put her in the video. I like left that footage in. So if you want to see her, check out that video. Really quickly, because I'm just like super, super chatty, I'm going to mix the color Simon and the color Graham together. And I'm going to put this on my lower lash line. Oh, this has a mirror. I had not been using it, but I'm going to use it right now. So I'm gonna put this down. I've, I don't think I've spoken this candidly about what's going on with me. Um, but I don't know, maybe I'm just like really, really focused, you know, because it's part of the routine. I'm like, okay, let's do this video. Let's, let's tell the guys what's happening. So yeah, if you wanna see that video, please check it out. She's super cute. Um, let's see. The dog herself needs a routine. She's still getting used to us. She's getting to know family now. So the fact that she needs a routine, she's gotta go out in the morning, she needs to eat by a certain time. You know what I mean? And then there's like the potty training, kind of helps keep us on our routine. You know what I mean? So that's pretty grounding. Like you know how they say like family can be grounding? When you care and you wanna be present, like they do ground you because you have to like incorporate them into your life. You can't just go off and be gone all the time. You know what I mean? Before I move on to the rest of the story, because it's so interesting, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my face. And also, I've been saying a lot on Instagram, like you guys, like I just have these products that I moved here with. I don't have a lot going on with like new makeup and things like that. So I'm using the same products like over and over. I do have a couple of new products because I did pick up my BoxyCharm box and I am subscribed to BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm is not like this new box that I have, like I didn't take it to storage. I just went to my mailbox and I got the box. So that's how I have new makeup to use today. Plus over the last couple of days, I did buy a couple of things from the local drugstore because I just realized like 
I just didn't have what I needed here. Like this sponge, I don't know if I said it in the beginning of the video, I've been using this sponge for like a month by itself. Like I don't have other sponges. I try not to bring my entire makeup collection here. Our entire home is in storage. So that is where most of my makeup is. Okay, so I'm using the Pure Lease. Perfect Glow BB Cream. It's got sunscreen in it. It's oil free. It's moisturizing. This is the color Deep Tan. I did a whole eight hour wear test video on this and I will link that down below just in case you're interested as well as the video with my dog in it just in case you're interested. Also, my giveaway products are in storage. You guys, I have been stressing about this for like a couple of months because we had to start packing. Even though we had like 48 hours to move out of our last place we had been packing boxes and stuff for like weeks and weeks i'm going for a second layer of the bb cream this is not full coverage this is not a full coverage foundation it is just a bb cream so you might need uh, two applications or three if you're looking for that full coverage effect honestly you guys it just kind of pains me that i've also had to deal with this i've had to put my makeup giveaways on hold because i just don't know if I'm gonna be able to mail out new products. I don't know when it's gonna happen. Also, I accidentally packed some of the giveaway prizes. Honestly, it pains me that two of my last giveaway winners have not received their prizes yet. Not because of anything that anyone else did, it's all me. It happened to me, I'm not proud of it. I think that, you know, I could have done a better job of just keeping everything like organized, but I didn't and but that is okay though I could not have picked more graceful winners I've contacted them and let them know that the prizes are still coming but they are in storage and as soon as we can clear out and move out into the house then I will be able to mail their prizes before I get too far and like powder my face and things because I can always apply more cream now if I need to. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put liner in the bottom here, and I'm just gonna use the NYX eyeliner. This is Golden Bronze. I use bronze eyeliner inside, um, just to give me like a light reflection effect. Also, I wanna address something else about the giveaways. There has been a winner who has won a giveaway, and this person has not come forth to claim their prize. I did a video where I was talking about this a while ago already, so I don't think I'm gonna say everything again. I'm just gonna link um, my, my follow-up thoughts on this whole subject down below. I'll link the video where I said that down below. Um, I think in the thumbnail it says like, using giveaway makeup. Yeah, it's like a, a whole thing. Um, but it is something I think about, obviously, because I host giveaways. I think in the description box of all my videos about giveaways, I say that you must come back and check to see if you're the winner. How you check is probably going to be different from giveaway to giveaway, but I will tell you, come back and check on this day for the answer. So if someone doesn't do that, then I, it was part of the giveaway, you know what I mean? I can't just change the rules and chase someone down. I just, I'm in the middle of moving, I have a family, I have things I'm doing outside of YouTube, I can't chase people down, especially if I say up front, come back on this day and check to see who's the winner. I'm also gonna take this Sephora Matte Brown Eyeliner. This is the retractable eyeliner. Tight lining makes my eyes water so much. And it just goes like under the lash so that when you're looking up like this, like you can't see like flesh color under there. You want it to be like all lash. Okay, and I'm gonna do something I don't normally do right now. I'm gonna add some eyeliner on the top and I'm gonna do it with the shadow. Uh, if you could see this table I'm working with right now, you'd be like, how do you find anything? Okay, so the ColourPop BFF liners, somehow I didn't pack these and they made it into my travel kit. So I'm gonna take this Cream Gel Liner by ColourPop. Look at this really, really pretty slate blue. Ow, 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 ow. This is called DTLA. Wow, so much color payoff, very little work. I love these liners, they're so good. I'm taking a small pencil brush by La Bote Soe 
And I'm just taking Archie here. Archie is this super bright, like white color. I'm gonna take it and take it into my brow bone. Wow, these shades, they go on nicely and they actually stay on. I know I put concealer on so that they would stay on, but they are. Like, I'm just kind of impressed with this palette. I remember when I first got here, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have any concealer. Like, what? how can I do a look at all without concealer? I ended up buying a concealer. So this is the Morphe concealer. It's the color C2.65. I'm taking this and I'm just highlighting the parts of my face that I want to be brighter. Oh, so that's another thing with body care. Like being here, I had to be sure to bring body care. I only brought one razor, not like a pack, just like one razor. Um, it's still doing good after two weeks. I don't know, is that normal? How long do you guys keep your razors for? And I shave like every other day, so how long do you guys keep your razors for? Um, and I also didn't bring um, Nair for my upper lip. <laughs> I Nair my upper lip. I had to buy some, because I noticed when I was doing stories that like my hair was growing back. That brings me to another topic um, that I kind of wanted to touch on. You guys have requested specific videos and I think that I could do a better job doing the videos that you actually request, um, such as a skincare routine. And of course, like the Nair face cream is like a skincare routine type of product. Some of them just require like being able to see like my whole bathroom. Like if I'm doing a skincare video, then I'm probably going to be in my bathroom. And where we were living, that bathroom was basically decorated by my husband, by himself. He was there before I got there and I had not taken the time to decorate it because I prioritized like other things. So I didn't want to make my video with just my husband's decorations, if that makes sense, because it's my video. So it's like, is it going to look the way I want it to look? Like I purposefully put these flowers back here because this is something that I want. You know what I mean? So I also want to like have my touch on the bathroom if I film in there. So the videos that you guys have been requesting, you guys want a lot of like routines. Tell me again which videos in the comments down below um, you guys want to see because I think whenever we move into our new house, I will be decorating more and I'll be more willing to do like a routine that has to do with me like being in the bathroom, like a skincare routine. So comment down below which routines you guys would like for me to film. You guys, this is the only powder that I have with me here and it's the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. To be honest, I if I was paying more attention to the products that I brought with me, I would have brought like a yellow powder, like something that would go like under my eyes to help brighten with the concealer. This is a translucent powder. This is a holy grail in the beauty community. It's very good. It works for lots of different skin tones. I think I might have to go to a drugstore just to pick up like what's new. Uh, let's see. Well, I just did like the Addison Rae makeup tutorial, but I was also using like minimal products, like what I had here on purpose. The things that I brought in my travel box, not even all of them are usable. Some of them are expired. Like I need to declutter my makeup. Some like eye pencils and stuff I should not be using. I actually really have these travel brushes by Flower Beauty and I've been using them. Like I didn't even, I've owned these for quite some time and I'm gonna tell you how long it was because it might, it may have been last year and I have not used them. I thought I might put them in a giveaway but they came in handy during this whole move. So I started using this yesterday um, and I actually really, really like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and put this on. Now this is gonna make me look more tan. Like don't I look more real even now? I look more than like one dimensional. And now that we're getting closer to fall, like I'm so tempted to just use this as blush. You know what I mean? Like 
it's such a warm color it's not extremely cool okay so let's go ahead and do blush so that's another thing do I have a new blush um no I don't I don't have a new blush today I bought so many blushes honestly you guys I have new blushes I just don't have them with me this is from the friendcation palette and I'm gonna use this color right here I'm gonna use this color right here this is called churro <laughs> I couldn't go much longer without having a blush brush because I'm very limited on what I had so I went to where did we go we just wanted to buy ice and so you can just get that for like a dollar at um, the dollar store so I also picked up this brush from the dollar store I'm gonna use churro and I'm gonna use this color here I'm gonna use these together that other one is called girl by I think I'm always really really bad with reading like colors of um, eyeshadows like backwards on a palette if you want to see um, where I've used like some bright colors recently check out my Instagram we'll use the blue down below I'm gonna go back in with this liner and actually just line on the outside of that copper that I have lately I have just wanted to chillax you know what I mean see <clears throat> on television I've been watching this show called um, Greenleaf I don't know if you guys have heard about it but it is so good right now they're on season five okay so this is the l'oreal lash paradise mascara there's more i want to say to you guys okay so but greenleaf is about um an african-american family that they it's mostly about their family and the family drama because they all live together that's that's more than half of the drama like everyone's grown and they all live in one house together that's that can bring drama but also um, they own a business and they actually own a religious business they have a church and of course it's like a nonprofit that has to be run that's why I say business it's so good I watched season one probably a couple years ago and then I started it again this year and now it's on season five it comes on own but we caught up we watched season one through four again on Netflix now it's in season five and I think literally we have one more episode to watch and then that's it and then I have to wait a whole week to see another episode if there's gonna be another episode if there's gonna be another season I don't even know it's very very good I highly highly recommend you watching and if you were ever interested in the interworkings of a church mixed with a family owning the church then that's the show for you this look ended up being extremely dramatic okay let's do this brow product and before we do that we're gonna let the lashes dry so I'm gonna put glue on them okay Kush Fiber Brow Gel. Let's see. A new brow. Ooh. So I like that the applicator is thin. It's not a big, fat wand. I have thin brows by nature, so I like a small wand. All right. Let's check it out. Okay. Color seems to be good for me. I definitely don't dip it back in because it does give color. This is enough color for both of my brows. It separates, lifts, darkens. That almost sounds like everything you want in a mascara. <laughs> okay, I almost went overboard with the brows, but I think that the weight of the eyes and the brows together are doable. Like I would want to use the color that I put on my brow on my inner corner but I don't even know if it's gonna like really show up. Let's try it and see what happens. It's kind of like white. Let's do all the face highlight. So, okay. 
I don't usually highlight my face much, but I think I want to today. Didn't I say I was gonna do that earlier? Sort of like break out of my comfort zone. Well, the thing is, I also don't really have like a highlighting brush. So, you see how problematic this is? I'm just using a little bit of my Morphe Spark as a highlighter on my nose. I don't really have a highlighter brush with me. I use it on my chin. I have put this everywhere. I never do this. I'm gonna line my lips with this Wet n Wild gel lip liner. It's called Don't Be a Prune. This color is like a lot darker than the color I normally use on my lips. Okay, we are definitely, definitely doing different things over here on this channel right now. <laughs> All right guys, so this is my final and finished look. I actually really am enjoying the eyeshadow palette. I think this cool tone eyeshadow palette is so beautiful. I cannot wait to use it again. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be using it in a lot of my fall looks coming up. And I also think that the brow product is pretty good too. It doesn't keep my brows wet looking and it kind of just dried down to like a powder, which I really like. Let me know what you guys think. And if you guys have any questions, please write them in the comments down below. I would love to actually answer them in my next video. I am getting very close to all the questions I need for my 25 question and answer tag, the get to know me tag video. That should be coming out soon. I can't wait to film it in my new beauty room whenever we get there. All right guys, so I love you so much and don't forget to check me out on Instagram at Cammie Stevenson IRL and also at Cami's Cosmetics. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.